This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets, a veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. This video will be on the topic of myiasis. Myiasis refers to the infestation of living animals by fly larvae or maggots. The maggots grow and often feed off the living tissue of the host. This condition can occur in both wild and domestic animals. There are three main types of myiasis, accidental, facultative, and obligatory. Accidental myiasis refers to when animals ingest food that has been contaminated by the eggs of flies. Although the fly species is typically non-parasitic, it can be in order to survive. Facultative myiasis involves larvae which can either be free-living or parasitic, and are typically seen as opportunistic. They can develop in both carrion or living tissue. The final type of myiasis, obligatory myiasis, involves purely parasitic larvae. Let us now look at the possible causes of myiasis. In the case of canine myiasis, a major cause is the presence of open wounds, which attract many fly species. Another possible cause is poor hygiene especially in cases where parts of the dog's skin is constantly soiled by urine or feces. The symptoms of myiasis can differ on a case-by-case -case basis. The most unmistakable indicator of myiasis is the observance of small white maggots in the skin of the animal. In some cases, the fur of the animal may obscure the wood, so maggots may not be spotted. Other symptoms thus include the loss of appetite and lethargy in the animal. The treatment of a wound myiasis typically involves the shaving of the hair around the infected area to improve visibility of the affected site. This is followed by the removal of the maggots using a pair of forceps. The wound is also typically washed and cleaned. Antibiotics are also often prescribed to help combat the bacterial infection. Upon the removal of the maggots, the underlying cause of the infestation would then also have to be addressed. Ultimately, even after the removal of maggots, long-term preventive care is most advisable. This would include the maintenance of good hygiene in pets, which includes constantly checking your pet's skin for feces and or urine, and washing them off. Additionally, any wound should also be kept clean. Do visit topiovets.com if you need more information, and once again, thanks for watching.